I have a word for myself and I've also written that on several of my class, you know, my school, when they ask me, describe yourself. And I describe myself as an enigma. Ooh. Yeah, I'm forever this If she's phenomenal, I'm enigmatic. If you want to get notified each time there's a new video, please hit the bell button somewhere. Actually, you mentioned that you were an interior designer. So it's about home design naman. And Michelle, please go ahead. Yes, Tita. I, we're all very curious because some of us have been to your beautiful home. And I think also when Kimmy created Sacred Space, she not only was thinking about sacred spaces inside herself, but I think Kimmy is also very particular about creating sacred spaces around us so that, you know, we can do and, and create the ripples yeah, in the world that she inspires us to create. I think one of our questions would be about your home. How important it is for you to create beautiful spaces and, and what's your inspiration for that like what's your design inspiration give me said many times you like to revise and move stuff around so what inspires you to do that my mood <laughs> whatever mood i'm in you know like we have several sets in the sala it's a because i can't change it it's so stationary what i try mm -hmm. to do is change all the the pillows, the covers, okay. everything, so that it's com a completely new look yeah. each time. Sometimes when I feel like, you know, spring, then it's floral. Sometimes I feel like it's summer, so we have lemons. Summer, eh? So you refresh yourself. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. And then because we have so many birds, we have an aviary with hundreds of birds here. I also have another set with birds, colorful birds, tropical birds. They're... Mm -hmm. But I get my inspiration from from life. But what happened? Life happened. <laughs> yeah. That's so oh beautiful. God. That's so mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, by the way, I have something to share with you also. Because Ayana. she keeps saying, you know, she's phenomenal. What's her word? Phenomenal. I have a word for myself. And I've also written that on several of my class you know my school when you when they ask me parang describe yourself and i describe mm -hmm. myself as an enigma Ooh. yeah i'm forever transforming see beautiful I'm, if she's phenomenal i'm enigmatic so Vita, mm -hmm. follow up question to that would yes. be if you were to create a sign just like what's behind kimmy right now with enigma on it Mm -hmm. How would it be designed? What enigmatic. What colors would you use? And it would be enig enigmatic. The word would be enigmatic. enigmatic. And the colors I use would be changing all the time. Yellows, mm -hmm. greens, blues. That's an enigma. Forever changing. And you know, maybe that when they say we learn so much from our parents are rather than what they say to us. And I think... Maybe that's why Kimmy also is so big on um, inspiring us to just keep on moving forward and mm -hmm. keep changing mm -hmm. and keep transforming because she sees that in not just in you but in the the spaces that you create. Mm -hmm. and, yes. and I, tell them about your garden. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my garden. I about that. <laughs> According to my husband, he says, "Yung garden namin ano yan seasonal, you know." <laughs> And then people ask, seasonal, wala naman seasons dito sa Pilipinas. Seasonal, kasi ano yun, parang four times a year, nag-iiba yung mga halaman, you know. Because I don't like them growing old. And then it, you know, it becomes this messy, parang uh, jungle effect with talahib and stuff. I keep, you know, so that it keeps, parang it's refreshing when they, when you see that the plants are always new. They're always growing and not grown old and dry. I hate that. That's why I don't like seeing soil or earth. I always like to see greens and pinks and reds and whites and yellows there. So that's why... I think those of us watching now are so convinced that our living spaces and the spaces around us really influence who you are. Because look at Kimmy, right? 
everything's so colorful and changing all the time. So, Kita, ano yung theme ng garden ngayon? Ah, nearing Christmas. So, I have a oh. lot of stock on poinsettias. They're in just one corner of the backyard because I don't want to show the public yet. We'll, we'll get there. So, we're excited to see that. I think for most of us who've been to your home, <laughs> the things we love the most is your, your tablescape. So, whenever there's... Diba, jo, I think Sina Jo were just there over the weekend, right, Jo? You said how you prepare for that. And one of the questions um, people sent in, how do you make your tablescapes? Do you plan that out? Or do you have a a set already set aside so if today's theme is birds it's all there or is it something that just comes to you when Kimmy says mom I have guests coming over and then what, how did you decide what to do my first question is how many there first how many uh -huh. and then what kind of food are you serving because I base my choice of dinnerware based on the number of people and then the kind of food that's going to be served what ambiance do you want to create parang what are these people yeah what are these people into i try to study the profile of the guests see even that i take into consideration when it's my husband's guests they're mostly male so the colors i use are blues blacks you know mm -hmm. the heavier colors but when they're when they're young then i use pinks and greens when they're middle-aged you know a little older then i go into more sedate color schemes like gold black white stuff so like jo, that. I'm, I'm, I'm curious what color was your story i was gonna ask her i was gonna ask you don't have the colorful setting hindi naman gold oh hindi pa tayo middle-aged daw Wow. Wow, you're most welcome. You're always welcome and you'll always have a different scheme. Color scheme, different motif. Yeah. People ask me how many sets do I have? Yes, I was just gonna ask you that. Yeah, I started, I think, with about eight, eight dinnerware sets. I now have more than 20. Oh my gosh! Ooh. <laughs> That's so great, yeah. though. And, and the reason why I ask how many, because I have a set for, most of my sets are for 12, but I also have sets only for 6 or for 8, and I also have mm -hmm. sets for 24. So I always ask, how many? That's why I also always ask, who's coming? Yeah. <laughs> With your mom's, your mom's yeah. asking you, Ilan ba? Ilan. <laughs> it's so inspiring to listen to how you hold space and create beautiful spaces for, for Kimmy's guests. And we always feel so welcome there. And, and we, all of us who've been there and who will be coming, really want to thank you for that, for always being so, so welcoming. Thank you. So, Terry, shall we do the fun part of it? Thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this uh, episode and if you want to watch more you can hit the like and subscribe button thank you and i love you bye if you really like this episode please feel free to share it with your friends family loved ones and i would so appreciate that you can also follow me in these social media platforms